into Rebecca's Stylings Cable Crochet, and this is our video for our YouTube channel. This particular video is a stitch tutorial for our TBS and TFS stitches, which is twist back stitch and twist front stitch. And so these are frequently showcased in many of our patterns. So this is a blanket pattern, which has it's called the Chamborg blanket pattern. And the TBS stitch is this V stitch right here. And so we're gonna show you in this video tutorial how to make this V stitch. And so if you uh, do not have a pattern with that stitch in it, you can also use this cable stitch tutorial to make a headband. We'll show you how to make those stitches in a small band, which you could use as a headband as well. Uh, but this is the Chambord blanket, which does use uh, this stitch as well, which was made in bulky yarns so that use big O yarn. We also have several different sweaters that use this particular stitch. So if you look here, this is uh, one of our, it's called a Braemar sweater. And this stitch here, the small V's, are those twist stitches, which we're going to show you how to make in this video tutorial. So again, it's these V stitches. And so stay tuned and enjoy. And hopefully this will help you finish some of our patterns and make it easier uh, to understand the different types of cable stitches that you can use to make beautiful crochet fabric. We start with a slip knot and I am using a bulky weight yarn. This is Big O in a light blue color. And the hook I'm using is a nine millimeter hook. And we start by inserting our hook into the slip knot. And now we are going to chain nine stitches. So we start with the chain on the hook, that's one. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And so now we have our chain base and we're going to start our first stitch in the fourth one from the hook. So that's one, two, three, four. So we put our hook into that chain, pull it through, yarn over, pull through one, and yarn over, pull through two, and two, and that's an extended single crochet. So now we're gonna do more extended single crochets in each of those chain stitches. So again, that's pull through, yarn through over, pull through one, and then two, and yarn over, pull through one, and then two, and then we'll continue that across, and so that we have six single crochets and then one chain, at the end. So now we have finished our first row and we're going to chain two and turn our work. Now we're going to start this row with a single crochet, it's extended stitch, so we yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And then the next stitch we're going to do is our twist back stitch. So this starts by skipping a single crochet and then making a ex extended treble post stitch into the next single crochet. So we're gonna go ahead and do that yarn over twice, insert our hook around that second stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then two, and then two. And so this is our post stitch, which is the first part of our TBS stitch. Now we're gonna make a single crochet behind that stitch into the single crochet that we skipped. So we put inserting our hook behind that post stitch, we're yarning over and pulling through, and then yarn over, pull through one, and pull through two. So that was this extended single crochet. So now we're gonna do the TFS stitch, which is the twist front stitch. So we're going to skip a single crochet and and work a single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. So we're going to go ahead and insert our hook 
and then make an extended single crochet stitch here and then we're going to make a front post stitch in front of that single crochet so we're going to go ahead and go across to the stitch that we skipped so yarn over twice and now insert our hook around that stitch that we skipped and yarn over pull through yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two and then two and then two and so now that was the tfs stitch twist front so we've now finished our two cables and we're going to finish the row by doing a single crochet at the very end again this is an extended single crochet stitch so now we've finished row two which is the first row with our cables. And we're going to now chain two and turn our work. So now this is the back side of our work. We're gonna first start with a single crochet in that first stitch. So that's an extended stitch. And now we're gonna make a post stitch into that FPS stitch that we finished with. So yarn over once and we're going to insert around that post stitch, pull through and then yarn over, pull through two and then yarn over, pull through two. So that was our post stitch. Now we're going to work a single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. This is an extended single crochet and then another extended single crochet into the single crochet in the previous row. Now we're going to make a post stitch into the last post stitch of the first row which was a part of the TBS stitch. So yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two, and then two. Now we're making a single crochet into the final stitch of that row three. So this is the backside row for that uh, first cable row. So now we're gonna yarn over and chain two. So we're back on the front side now, and we're gonna continue our cable. So we start with a single crochet. This is just our edge stitch. Now we're gonna make a TBS again. So we're going to first make, skip our post stitch and make a post stitch into the single crochet. So yarn over twice and go around that single crochet and then yarn over and then yarn over, pull through one, pull through two, pull through two and then yarn over, pull through two. So that's our front post stitch. And now again, we're gonna go behind that post stitch to be able to make a single crochet into the post stitch that we skipped. So we insert our hook behind our post stitch and then we yarn over, pull through one and then pull through two. So that's our TBS for this row four. So now we're going to continue with the TFS stitch, which is our twist front into the next two stitches. So first we're going to make a single crochet, uh, skipping the single crochet that we have in the center there. So that's our extended single crochet. Now we're going to make a front post stitch over into the single crochet we skipped. So yarn over twice, insert it around the single crochet we skipped, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And so now we finished our TFS stitch and you can see that nice V that's being made into the V of the previous row. And so we're gonna finish our row by making our single crochet at the end here. So that was row five of this tutorial. And you can see that the, you wanna make the Vs into the center of the previous row. So now we are in chain two and turn over. We're making a single crochet in our backside row, row six. We're making a post stitch into the post stitch of the previous row. And then we're gonna make another single crochet into the single crochet in the center. Another single crochet into the single crochet in the center. And then ending with a post stitch into the post stitch of our TBS stitch from our previous row. And we're gonna end that row with a single crochet at the very end. So now you can chain two and turn over. This is now our repeat. So now for repeating this to continue the headband, you're going to repeat the last two rows again and again until you have it the length that you want. And 
And so again, that V is going to be in the center of the V that we have here. And so you can make that as long as you want. And then once you've made it the length that you want, fold it over and sew it together and you have a nice headband. This also shows you how to make this stitch for our cable crochet projects. Thanks so much.